you know, I don't want to use the term other drugs, but it's kind of my drug. It's, it's what makes me happiest in life. It, you know, music makes me high. I, I actually get, you know, good feelings in my heart. I get goosebumps when I just talk about it or when I hear certain music, so. I got into electronic music when I was in about sixth grade. It's mainly mixes of songs. But as I got into high school, uh, I really was exposed to a lot of electronic music. I'd have to say yes, I do like electronic music, and if I would have to go into a subgenre, it would be dubstep. I like electronic music because it always has that nice steady beat that everybody can relate to, and it always has like some someone's always excited about it, and always makes you excited about something, and you, like you can fall asleep to it, or you can like go dancing to it. And it's just awesome and exciting and fun, and there's never like. I don't think there could ever be a truly horrible electronic music song ever. I mean, except for maybe a little annoying, but... I like electronic music and it's like fun to listen to because it has like a lot of energy and like going to electronic concerts are fun because everyone's dancing and it's like having a good time and I like it. Um, I first heard uh, an early tape of the Crystal Method and Prodigy when I was 12 years old, so... I want to say 1990, 1991, uh, about around there. And you know, I grew up in Seattle in a you know very cultured music scene. I was a musician. Um, I love jazz and classical, and you know, I was kind of a metalhead and punkhead and a skater when I heard electronic music, and it just something about the beat really grabbed me. So my friends and I always love to go and you know go out to concerts and have a lot of fun and good dancing. Dancing is a lot of fun. I love dancing. It's a whole different culture, um, you can download music for free and it's not illegal. It's just really access to different music where artists are able to put out their music and you're able to listen to it. In fact, the EDM comes from Germany and was introduced by Kraftwerk into the electro genre. In Jamaica, a DJ started to use loop and beats and an MC talks about politics in the background. This is called dub. Dub music is exported to New York where hip hop music is created. In fact, the DJ fades out and the MC raps on it. Rap equaling rhythm and poetry. But in Detroit, because of the poverty and decline of the car industry, black people started to mix underground music with some synthesizers and a sequencer. That is called techno. I uh, produce mostly, uh, elect I'd say electro, progressive electro, which is a, you know, it's a 4-4 beat, um, a lot of drums um, and low end bass mixed in with vocals. I like, you know, to try to take a vocal sample and kind of chop it up and affect it. I pretty much like all electronic music as a genre, just because most of it has tons of energy and it's just fun to listen to. Pretty much love. Love is the word I describe for my feelings for music. But I like a lot of melodic, uh, like liquid dubstep. Um, that's definitely the area that I've noticed I really enjoy. But then I also like things like glitch um, and even some trance, although some of it's kind of cheesy. So techno is one of the first genres with an impulse on each beat and makes the tempo easily recognizable. Disco is declining. But there is still a club in a Chicago warehouse where DJ Frankie Knuckles remixes disco songs that have a bass line and some effects. The principal difference between a disco song and a house song is that house is not composed like songs with a chorus. House music has an intro with a main loop and has some instruments every four or eight beats. And after, there is a plateau phase where the sequence is on loop and there are some effects such as pitch, echo, compressor. 